Hello, Mr. Fomenko. Hola. What are you doing? Look what I found. What did you find? This super fancy mm -hmm. type of hold. I actually never saw this before. What's that? I think it's just for corner. I have a challenge for you. It's actually very hard to force people do the move that you want to do. But I think it's even harder when you already have a setup hole. So here we have a, uh, the bouldering wall with a bunch of holes, the different colors. And uh, for me, it's kind of different type of skill when you build up new routes using uh, all kind of holes, all colors and stuff. It's just different for me. I never done this before. So today I'm trying to force you to do one move. This is fancy top hole for you. <laughs> Hope it's easy to grab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready for challenge? My ego is warm. Oh, your ego is warm. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to the club. <laughs> okay, so holes with the yellow stickers, yours. Come on, your next one is yellow on the ceiling. <laughs> That's tiring. Yeah, it's supposed to be tiring. Uh, I couldn't even go for the yellow. Yeah, why? Because you don't have a feet? Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, there's it's no foothold for you. And the drop, we thought feet, it was hard. Yeah, because then you have to do a pull up almost to get the yellow. Yeah, so you have like option just explosive pull up mm -hmm. or lock off to reach it. There's have you ever heard about figure four? Yes, once. When you, you told me. I told you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you were the one that told me about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the thing is like mostly for ice climbers. Yeah, but, that's what you said. Yeah, but on ninja uh, community, sometimes figure four is very helpful, especially when you get to the obstacle when you're already tired. Mm -hmm. and uh, you not be able to have a lock off especially one arm lock off mm -hmm. which is very very uh, hard uh, power demanding yeah strength uh, yeah. on one arm yeah figure four come handy at this point do you want to see throw from here it's very hard to do the throw over here, yeah. especially if you're tired. So. Want to try? <laughs> sure! <laughs> that looks hard. It doesn't require a lot of strength but it does require a lot of technique how about grip strength do you have to have grip strength in order to hold on a little bit just un poquito, un poquito. <laughs> so the thing you can put your leg on your arm and just pull all pressure already on this arm. Find a good position, and as soon as you feel that you are comfortable, then you let go. What if you never feel comfortable? Then you have to practice. Uh, uh, Ice climbers use it like every climb almost. Damn, they're strong. <laughs> yeah, they're strong. Their grip strength is crazy. Yeah. That's why I wanted to. Yeah, because they climb with the. Hooks yeah, they and it's they always all, hold like, hold those. hold the tool. Yeah. Uh, let's do workout for lock off and figure four and. Talk about it a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, but for explosive people, you could just you could just skip it and die on the top. Sometimes it works. Do you wanna see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, actually. Maybe, uh, maybe. Let's I mean, see. I mean, in in my universe, in my understanding, if I have no capacity of technique, uh, I'll just like skip everything. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. A little different tops, but yeah, I think skipping is fun. You see, you could just do that. Yeah. First thing first, lakoff is something that uh, requires a lot of strength and there is a lot of pressure on your joints and on your tendons. So deep warm up must be done. And second, one of big disadvantage of figure four, if you fall, you fall very awkward. So but must have underneath. To improve your lock off strength, uh, we will do like 20 sets of 10 seconds hold and 10 seconds rest. It will be a very good start point, but about the goals we'll talk a little bit later. First, seven sets, it will be 30 degrees hold, then seven sets, 90 degrees hold, and the last six sets will be 120 seconds hold. And that's it. Question. Yep. So in climbing, when you speak about lock-offs, what exactly does that mean? It's when you uh, can hold the position static. When you engage uh, some muscles, some joints, mm -hmm. and you can hold it statically, I think gotcha. this is what lock-off mean. Okay. And one hand lock-off is like super cool skill, very useful. Because you but can do it with both hands. Yeah, uh, work out, we'll do it with both hands, yeah, for sure. Okay, life hack for people who work out on plane mode, for people not disturb you and you're not seeing messages or calls when you do exercise, you can download uh, different climbing and Tabata application to see time 10 by 10, but it's pretty simple, you can just see uh, the numbers. Ready? Yeah. Okay, um, 30 degrees, let's go. It feels so nice, actually. Huh, mm -hmm. must be nice to feel like that. I was dying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I couldn't okay. even talk anymore, not even to complain. Yeah, so 10 seconds fall, 10 seconds rest is the, something that you should start with. So what's a way to make it harder if, if let's say this exercise becomes too easy for you? Well, uh, ideally it's supposed to be 15 seconds hold oh. and 10 seconds rest. Yeah, but uh, eventually, you know, with the, with the, with the, with time, because I start uh, with 10 seconds hold, 10 seconds rest. Then uh, after maybe five weeks, I did 12 seconds, and then I did 15 seconds for maybe 20 weeks after. <laughs> and do you do you do this on a daily basis? Uh, not anymore. I mean, I used to do it like maybe. Two, twice, three times a week. Why yeah. Stop? What? Why not anymore? Uh, I think I, uh, I don't know, maybe become lazy. I thought it was going to be 10 to 90. <laughs> no, no, at some point uh, when I realized that I can do one hand, uh, one arm, lock off. Yeah, I, I stopped doing these things and start focusing more like one arm pull up. Because especially after weighted pull ups and weighted things that you do, everything with body weight becomes so easy and you so feel nice. Lightless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not for a long time. Use it or lose it. You have to do it like a, a lot. Weightless. What could be some of the disadvantages of lock offs? Are there any? Well, it requires a lot of strength. So you can do nice lock-offs, but not for a long time. Especially if we're talking about Ninja Warrior stuff, uh, on the last obstacles, you probably not be able to lock off because you're already tired. And if you're able to, uh, you almost have no rights on mistake. You know, you missed once, missed twice, and goodbye, you lock off. It's very efficient and fast. You know, if you're very precise with all work that you do, you can do it like fast, bam, 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 and done. You mm -hmm. don't have to do the figure eight yeah. that takes a little bit of extra time. Figure something. four. Sorry. <laughs> figure eight. <laughs> figure eight is, I don't know. Is, <laughs> oh God, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, there's a figure nine oh, though. Oh, I was gonna ask you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there is a figure nine if though. If there was any other one. <laughs> <laughs> nine? Yeah. It, How does a nine look? Uh, I will show you. We, we will practice figure figure four right now. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No you. What? I don't have anything left. You have a lot. I don't. 
got a whole lot of love. I have two more sets. Mm. So failure in this exercise, I think something that you uh, Seek for. seeking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And done. Okay. Good done job. with the cuffs. Boom, nice. nice. Uh, again, advantages, you're very efficient, very explosive, and you waste a uh, very short amount of time. But one mistake, two mistakes in a row can be fatal. You ready for figure four? Nine. And nine. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can, can demonstrate right away. Show me. Yeah. Opposite leg go on opposite hand. So left leg go on right hand, right leg goes on left hand. That's it. And there's actually three position. Low one, when uh, your leg on your elbow, middle on the forearm, and high one on the wrist. It gives you a little bit different cool. type of reach. Yeah, and actually you might, you might feel that putting your leg on your arm add more weight and like uh, making the feeling that you're just trying to tear yourself off something like in this case the bar but it's not it because uh, when you put so much pressure on your forearm you can try it at home if you press yourself uh, on your forearm your fingers and wrists start flexing a little bit mm -hmm. yeah so when you put more pressure it's actually a little bit help uh, That's cool. yeah external help okay uh, demonstration demonstration por favor yeah so right and calculate one, two, three, then you switch. Left. One, two, three, and this is first set. I mean, first rep. One. <laughs> when it comes to difficulty, how would you rate this compared to one arm lock off? From one to ten. For example, for lock off, there is zero technique and 10 of strength. But for uh, figure four, there is maybe eight of, st of technique and only two or three of strength. So lock off is something that's slow, requires a lot of technique, but doesn't require a lot of strength. And lock off is something that doesn't require technique, <laughs> but requires a lot of strength. So it's very hard to compare, but Again, as we were talking before, it's very cool when you uh, can have both mm -hmm. in your pocket because mm -hmm. there is a different situation you might use them. Oh, and I forgot to show you figure nine. Yeah, yeah. I thought that's what you were going to show me. Yeah, figure nine is a little bit uh, not so popular, but it's on the side reach. So figure four is when you go opposite, but figure nine is when you go on the same and from here, it will be side reach, like, you know? Oh. Like on shoulders. Doesn't look like a nine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it? Oh, gosh. I'll spot you. Okay. Figure four, a lot of technique and maybe five of strength, not three. <laughs> it requires some strength. It's about to rip people, you see? It's okay, it's okay, still did great. Yeah, so the truth is I was I was truly thinking that it will be easier for you because you do weighted pull-ups and pretty simple. You do like 25 pounds or easy. Uh, so guys, like comment below, try it, but put the pad and uh, have a spotter and please let us know. Uh, how much strength you need to do a figure four. If you can dead hand on one hand, 
you can do figure four. I might be wrong, so yeah, please uh, comment below, let's talk about it. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something new and yeah, I put the, the workout program in the, in the description. A, a lot of grip. You think it's I grip could, strength? Yeah, I could do pull-ups, but not holding the pull-up for, for a amount of seconds. Yeah, but we, we put the uh, grip tape on the on the bar and with a chalk it's super grippy, so... That's true. Uh, yeah, it works pretty well. I guess I'm just weak. Yeah. Did you just agree? Okay, Kelly, thank you so much for supporting my little experiments and uh, participating in it. And guys, thank you for your time, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe, because apparently it's very important and it does help a lot. Well, work hard, play safe and uh, don't skip like this.